It's fashion. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would know. <laughs> okay, no, this is... <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're actually gonna be talking about why drop shipping is not the same anymore and how you know even with like with the last two years, right, drop shipping has been super super lucrative and it still is, but I think in the next 18 months or you know after 18 months the whole industry is gonna change. And there's a few there's a few big big pointers, right? So number one is with paid advertising when you're trying to scale um, first of all like getting to 500 or a thousand a day is is pretty pretty easy to do okay but actually surpassing a thousand a day in paid ads and whatnot uh, that takes a little bit of a different skill set and strategy and the problem with mainstream paid platforms like Facebook right is that everyone that's drop shipping is like trying to do Facebook ads everyone's putting money into Facebook ads which ultimately if you don't understand Facebook ad is a bidding platform it's an auction platform right so the money you're paying you're basically bidding against other advertisers to get your ad in front of other people okay so the problem is when everyone jumps into drop shipping and everyone puts money into Facebook ads it just shoots up the price so over time right like prices are gonna steadily go up and if you don't know how to make money off your back end if you don't know how to increase your customer order value increase their lifetime value um, and just milk money instead of just the front end of products a lot of you guys do like free plus shipping and stuff like that and that's all you do is like that that's the only way you make money is by doing these front end strategies to to generate sales and that's not gonna work in the long term or in the long run just because the advertising costs are going up eventually that's gonna bite into your profits and eventually you just won't be profitable okay guys so that's that's one main point um, that I just wanted to get out there is you know with, with paid ads and whatnot and the cost of everything and then the second main point guys is that before right, when I first started drop shipping right um, if you guys have been around you you would have seen a video where I, I showed two of my first stores and literally what I did is like I, I split tested stores so I had custom content on one store and then I had only white AliExpress pictures on the other store now the AliExpress one was doing around 11 I think eleven to thirteen thousand dollars a month, okay, and that was just using AliExpress images, okay, um, no custom content. It was all the white background stuff that you find on an AliExpress product page that you can take and snag off of it and use it for your own um, website. Now, the other site, the Nugget, right, the one that I actually did a big walkthrough on, that one did a lot more. That one did, I think four or five X the amount of actual money that the AliExpress one was doing. And that was all custom content, okay guys? And that was two years ago. So like two years ago, I was already on board the whole make your own brand, do custom content kind of thing because I figured that's what people would you know relate to more because with dropshipping, again, the biggest thing you guys need to understand is if, they, if, if people can tell you're dropshipping, you're dropshipping wrong, okay? So now going back to these two stores, right? The thing with dropshipping now and why it's just not the same is like a lot of people a lot of people jumping into dropshipping and getting started, all they do, okay, all they do is grab the AliExpress pictures or grab their supplier photos, slap them on their website, find some stock images on Google, slap it on the home page and the footer and whatnot, and then call it a site and then don't get sales or get very little sales and they wonder like why, where they're going wrong. The thing with dropshipping now is that it's becoming, it, it's it's so popular, right? And even now, it's like I think now is still a very very good time to join or like to get started dropshipping. I'm just saying within 18 months you're gonna have to switch up your game or switch up your strategies or just get better. Um, and by doing that, right, you need custom content. Okay, you can't keep doing, you know, keep using AliExpress stock photos and keep using, um, you know, random stock footage online um, and snagging that and then just calling it, you know, a website um, and then running traffic to that. When you first got started dropshipping, you absolutely could because there was not really other people doing. There's not nearly as many people doing it. Whereas when you hit a site, it like that that was just your website. There was not like a, a plethora of competitors that were kind of doing the same thing, selling the same stuff. Um, but now you have to like just to break through the noise, right? Um, with with like, cause literally, like we as humans on social media, on all these advertising, like we're bombarded with advertisements every like every single day, like hundreds of times a day. We see ads, 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 ads. Now the only way to break through that noise is by having you know this custom copy, custom imagery. Um, cause again, guys, Facebook is very, very good at finding people that will buy your shit. Okay, all you need to do is focus on is find like like understand a general idea of who your audience is and then perfect your image and ad copy, okay? Again, what does that mean? That means custom content, guys, and understanding that and using that to actually generate sales because you won't be able to keep doing that, you know, um, within in, in 18 months just because it's, it's so popular now and all these beginner dropshippers, that all they're doing is using stock footage, okay? So again, that that's another, another thing is just why dropshipping um, isn't the same anymore, it's not going to be the same anymore.
It's Gucci. Gucci. Ewe, ewe. All right, go ahead. All right, so the next strategy that I want to talk about um, and just kind of explaining more, you know, as, as to why drop shipping isn't the same is that there's new strategies, guys. So again, the free plus shipping model is very, very, very saturated. Like it can still work in some cases, guys, don't get me wrong, um, but it's just so common that it, it, it's not really like relevant. Like it's not a good incentive anymore because it's so prevalent. Um, it's like, like, like people have just been like numbed by it because they see it so often, okay? Um, there's a bunch of new strategies that we use now to generate sales. Like one of the strategies I talk about literally in my course, which by the way, get it. <laughs> Plug. Um, no, but there's, there's new strategies. And one of them that I talk about in my course is called the bull rush strategy, okay? And basically the super simplified version of this that I can come in this video is we're, we're utilizing Instagram's algorithm changes because like, Okay, well that, that also like that touches on my next point as well, but with the bullish strategy what we're doing is it's basically an Instagram takeover um, within a 48 hour time period, okay? And what that does is it generates massive exposure, generates a lot of traffic to your store, it builds up your pixel data almost instantly, right? Literally over, overnight. Um, and then it allows you to hop into paid advertising very, very efficiently. And it's what me and my buddy do to literally make 30, 40,000 in a single day. Um, I know for some of you beginners, like that number sounds outrageous, but trust me guys, it's, it's doable once you know how to do it and know how to market, okay? Um, but that brings back to my point, is like there's different strategies now that we need to use, that you guys need to understand how to use, so you can start making money because again if you're just using these 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 regular overused outdated strategies you're not going to be able to convert anymore right because again markets change you need to be able to adapt and the drop shipping market has changed in the fact that the free plus shipping strategy and other strategies as well just don't really work as efficiently as they used to okay and what does that mean is you need to be creative you need to be learning constantly right and figuring out new strategies new tactics tactics that you guys can use to actually you know convert your traffic or even get traffic to your store okay guys now the last thing I want to talk about is algorithm changes okay even with Facebook they're in a bunch of security shit um, that, that they've been you know kind of kind of caught off for but even with Instagram guys um, the fact that Instagram's algorithm has changed so much over the past, like people don't get used to it. Like a long time ago when I first started dropshipping, right? Instagram's algorithm for their feed was chronological. So it means whenever someone posted, you would just see the most recent post out of everyone you're following, okay? But now since, you know, Facebook acquired Instagram and then they slowly adapted Facebook's um, algorithm for their feed, you're just seeing posts that Facebook thinks you'd be more interested in. And Facebook ultimately is a for-profit business. So what they wanna do is they're gonna show they're, they're gonna show less of the actual people trying to make money from shout outs and whatnot so that those companies actually turn to Facebook's advertising platform and purchase advertisement slots, right? Um, Cause that's how they make money. And that's the reason like you see less and less of those and that's why some people are like, oh, shout outs don't work as much. Well, the problem is you just gotta find shout outs that like from, from influencers that, that are engaged and have engaged audiences. So again, that brings me back to the last one where I talk about like there's new strategies and new tactics to get sales. So like this all kind of loops around guys. I want you guys to understand that. Um, just, just by I guess like looking at the whole market change within the last two years and how you know it's going to be different um, in the next 18 months. But even going on with that, guys, like the two the two co-founders of Instagram like recently like just left Facebook because of clashes on vision, right? And if that doesn't tell you that it's just going to lean more in the direction of Facebook, which means more like changes in the algorithm, like you guys need to learn how to adapt to that. And again, in the next 18 months, I think there's going to be um, a lot of changes. I think video engagement is going to be really big, um, not just picture wise, just because that keeps people on their actual mobile device longer, on the app longer um, and stuff like that, guys. But again, those are the four changes, like, or four, just four key points that I want to kind of just bring to your guys' attention and to kind of look out for in these next, you know, 18 months. And again, if you're if you're very, very new to this, because I know most of my audience or most of the people watching this video are beginners or just fairly new, now is still a very, very good time, right, to get into dropshipping as long as you're equipped with the right strategies and techniques to actually hit the ground running, okay? You don't want to be like every other dropshipper and not know what they're doing content-wise, branding-wise, marketing-wise, not have an actual game plan and launch their store and three months later they still have no sales. Like, that's ridiculous, guys. Like, on the day you go live, you should be having 100, 200 plus days, okay? And with the right strategies, that, that's doable. It's very, very doable, okay, guys? So again, that, that's just a quick video for you guys. I wanted to kind of just bring to you guys' attention, I think, just like why dropshipping isn't the same. It's gonna change. It already has changed and just where it's gonna be going um, in the future. So that is the video, guys. Make sure to drop a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Again, 
Everything in the description is linked down below. Uh, the course is only $333, guys. Like, that's the official forever price now. Um, I'd rather have something cheaper for you guys. I think it's really one of the cheapest courses on the market now. It's cheaper than like every other guru um, out there. But I want to give you guys like a value packed course, right? For like cheaper than everyone else so that you guys are just like lifelong customers rather than charging you guys a ridiculous amount right up front um, just for like a quick buck but that's down below there's presets down below guys for the content stuff um, and there's a bunch of other links so I'll see you guys in the next video take care peace